1.105 EDN Assessment 2 Multimodal Picture Book Review Chosen Text The Rabbits by John Marsden and Sean Tan Presented by Stephen Story Chosen text that will be reviewed in this presentation is The Rabbits by John Marsden and Sean Tan Within the presentation, the language features and the visual features of the text will be analysed in relation to their effects on creating a story and conveying the overt and covert messages of the text. The Rabbits is a picture book written by John Marsden and illustrated by Sean Tan. The story is considered to be an allegorical text, describing the concept of colonisation and its associated effects, such as environmental damage and cultural conflict. It is most strongly connected to the colonisation of Australia by the British in 1788 to 1850 and the subsequent interactions between the British and the Aboriginal, or First Australians people, both before, during and after colonisation. From a reader's viewpoint, the story is told from the perspective of the colonised, describing the transition of the rabbits from being initially friendly visitors to later oppressive invaders. The text is a picture book, however, due to its themes, it can be said that the audience of this text is that of a mature reader. The dominant themes of the story include the effects of colonisation on the Aboriginal or First Australians people, the concept environmentalism, and that's the link between humanity and the land, cultural conflict, discrimination, racism, cultural perspectives, and beliefs. Throughout the text, it is seen that the language and visual features that have been used are specifically used to reinforce the meaning behind the written word and provide a visual context for the written word. Further, as one progresses through the text, it can be seen that the language and visuals change to be either more succinct and directly impactful or more broader and inferential. The dominant language features that were identified from the text include style and length of written language and the location or positioning of the written language. Within the story, it can be seen that the style and length of the written language is primarily depicted as short, succinct and simple sentences or phrases. This has been done to provide an, an impactful yet general idea which is further expanded upon by the imagery. The focus is on the imagery, and as such, the text works to reinforce the imagery by providing context. This leads to the importance of the location and positioning of the written language. The story focuses primarily on visual storytelling. As such, the written language has been positioned to primarily blend into the imagery and promote the visual storytelling aspect. The dominant visual features identified from the story include the use of colour, character comparisons and contextual imagery. Story colour was used as a tool by the author to set the tone of the scenes. For example, the colour seen in scene 1 are primarily dark and dull blacks, blues, oranges, reds and whites. The use of darker colours creates a more foreboding and imposing scene, hinting at the idea that something bad will soon occur. In comparison, scene 2 uses primarily lighter shades of orange, blue, brown, and green to create a more innocent and naive feeling character models. A character model refers to how a character is represented within a story or text. This can be referred to by their clothes, colours, and or objects associated with the character. In the case of the rabbits, it can be seen that the authors have shown this in great detail. For example, the rabbits are seen to be wearing very formal, functional, and specific clothing with references to their roles within their society. This image represents this well. As it can be seen that one rabbit is wearing traditional red military fatigues, synonymous with the traditional British red coat, and another is wearing a suit with a number pattern, which is synonymous with the dress of mathematicians in the 19th century. In comparison, the marsupials are only represented through their base colour and white back markings. This is used to represent the idea that the marsupials are not needing to be defined within a role system. Textual imagery refers to imagery that is used by the author to provide further detail, context and reinforcement to a written idea. This is heavily used to depict scenes from the story while further making direct comparisons to the ideas of the written text. For example, as seen here, the text reads, they ate our grass and they have chopped down our trees and scared away our friends. The image shows a literal animalistic animal eating grass in the foreground of the scene, further showing stump-like images in the background and living animals fleeing both in foreground and background. This is a direct 
representation of a fairly general written idea to a very specific and confronting visual image. The story has purposely been written and illustrated to generate our emotional response from the reader and prompt thinking regarding both the overt and covert messages displayed by the text. The use of broader written statements prompts thinking for the reader, both inferentially and critically. The use of specific imagery and visual elements reinforces dominant ideas displayed by the text, such as cultural difference or discrimination. The author has done this to create a story that connects with the reader and engages them and makes them want to look deeper into the overall or overarching issue of the tale. The importance of the text to students in the modern time is that it represents an analogy depicting a dark point in the history of the world where a dominant culture expanded its ideology to the point where it almost completely wiped out another. The story further represents themes such as cultural discrimination, oppression and prejudice, which are strong talking points today and directly relate to our students. The themes of environmental sustainability and technological advancement are further explored here and is represented by the story that if unsustainable practices and technologies continue, the environment, flora, fauna and natural resources will not. To conclude, the Rabbits focuses primarily on the use of visual features to convey both its story and the underlying messages of the text. The theme of colonisation is hinted throughout the story and through the use of colour, character comparisons and conceptual imagery, the impact of colonisation is not only seen, described, but also emotionally felt by the reader.